Eric Holla getting set for his third season in New Jersey coming up in just a couple of months. You can see his stats from the first two years with the Devils. He's joining us now on NHL tonight. Uh, Eric, thanks so much for taking a few minutes. I, I assume the fall is the furthest thing from your mind right now, getting to enjoy uh, what is a short off season. How is your summer going so far? Summer's been great. Um, busy with the kids. Uh, just, you know, starting to get back on the ice. And, and uh, yeah, it's been good. You talk about uh, getting back on the ice, and we know you've been a big part of the, the beauty league up there and, and skating in Minnesota. Uh, I mean, that's kind of all you've known, right? When you came into the league, like this was already up and running or right around that time, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Like, how good is that to get you ready for each season? Yeah, I think it's awesome. It's, it's a good way. Uh, you get to know every year I meet somebody new that I get to know, and uh, there's a lot of good players out in that league, so it's like a fun way to get back in shape, and, and uh, it gets competitive here and there, so it's uh, it's good. I love it. They, they've done a great job. There's some fans there, so you don't want to obviously embarrass yourself in front of people ever, so, <laughs> so a little bit on the stake here and there. See, keeps you accountable in the summertime. How's the team doing? How, how many games have you guys played? Who's your coach right now? Take us through, take us through the beauty league and what your team looks like. Well, we changed it up this year. Uh, we only have four teams instead of six teams this year uh, to kind of have more pros and less, uh, less, so to say, kids, I guess. Um, we, uh, we, they chose three, four captains. Uh, Nate Schmidt was my captain. Um, I was picked by him and our, uh, our coach is Paul Fletcher. Uh, we, have allowed 30 goals against in the first two games, so our record obviously is 0 and 2. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, looking for a big W next next week. But, What's yeah, the plus we... minus at right now? <laughs> hey, did you get you, Dash 18? You get your guy. No. You got your guy. You're even, right? Yeah, I'm even. I have my guy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Couple I love goals that. even. Yep. Um, coach, coaches have coaches have some decisions to make, though. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Halsey, um, I, you know, I, I'm. We were talking here on NHL Network about some of the teams we're looking forward to seeing this year transitioning to the NHL. Now, uh, the Devils. I, I think you guys are a team that is very positioned to to make a big leap here, right? And I don't even want to call it a leap because a couple years ago this team was in a really good spot. I think last year was just everything went wrong for this team. It seemed like whether it was injuries. Or, or a lot of other uh, factors. Um, what you've seen this summer, what this team has done, and uh, you know, wh where's your belief in this group moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone with the Devils can, you know, go into the season without just being completely excited. I think Fitzy did a great job of addressing uh, areas that we needed help in, uh, starting with our goaltending, uh, right down the line of def defense, um, and then adding, you know, some veteran guys, uh, some young guys, keeping our our uh, identity intact. Um, I, it's really exciting. I think we have a really deep team. Um, you know, our younger guys are going to be older again, and, and uh, I think, I think at the end of the day, I think last year was was good for us. Uh, we probably over exceeded expectations uh, a couple of years ago, and and uh, and last year was was hard, like you said. So, a little punch in the chin sometimes is good, and and I think uh, you'll see a very motivated group uh, with the Devils next year, and I think uh, I think we'll be. Ready to ready to push for push for something that you know the Devils haven't done in a little bit. A lot of new players, as we saw right there. Also, a new coach, Sheldon Keefe, uh, taking over behind the bench in New Jersey. Have you had a chance to speak with him yet? And uh, if so, maybe what's the philosophy like coming into this season? How do you how do you guys think you'll play this year compared to maybe the last two years? Uh, what's your take on the new coach in Jersey? Yeah, we had a good conversation. Um, I think our identity is going to, you know, stay the same, play fast. Uh, I think, you know, as you can see with the additions, uh, we want to defend better. But, but um, you know, just talking Kiefer, the expectations are going to be high for individuals and as a team. And, and I think accountability is going to be, be a big thing for a group. And, and uh, you know, he, he's, he's a perfect guy for, for us. You know, he's, he's a younger guy. He's hungry to win as well. Uh, I think... You know, with, with his experience with Toronto, with all the superstars and all, all that stuff that goes wrong around there is, is, is only going to help him get be a better coach next year as well. And, and uh, I'm really excited to work with him. And, and, um, and I think, uh, once again, good hire by Fitzy and, and excited to get going. Hey, uh, obviously we played together. Uh, I was fortunate enough early on to see you break into this league and, and really have done 
made a heck of a career as far as just being versatile and that's been your your number one thing in, in my opinion is like you could put Eric Halla on lines one through four anything you need he could do um, where are you at now in your career as far as you know what have you learned the most I guess is the, is the bigger thing and, and where's the hunger factor because you're still chasing like everybody does yeah everybody's playing the game to win a cup yeah um, yeah it's funny you say that Ripper. I mean you were I remember my second game, I was with you and Napper on the right wing, and Napper told me to move to the left because you were going to fight some big guy. So I was, you know, just... <laughs> hey, just and the, out, fact, and just, the fact that you could stay in the league this long after playing and playing with me and <laughs> Zenit Kanapka shows that you've been a heck of a player. I think it was a perfect way to come to the league. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I think the hunger is there. I mean, I'm hungrier than ever. Um, I'm 33 years old and, and uh, obviously looking to play as long as I can, but, but I also realize that, you know, age is a factor in this league and I've been fortunate, fortunate enough to play 11 years and, and uh, you know, I'm working hard in the summer to keep it going, but, but ultimately, like you said, I'm chasing that, chasing the Stanley Cup. Um, it's exciting to be on a team like the Devils who, you know, are willing to do whatever it takes to get better and, and, uh, and try to get there. So um, I'm right where I belong. Um, I love the organization, my teammates, and the team. So I, uh, I'm excited for for the challenge again, and and uh, just looking to have a really good summer and put everything on the table. Who's the guy on this Devils team that maybe doesn't get the attention that he deserves? I know, you know, we talk about Jack Hughes all the time and and whatnot, but who's a guy that you see day in and day out that is way better than maybe we or the media gives them credit for? Well, that's a tough question. Um, we, we're kind of, I mean, I feel like our star-studded guys are always, are, I mean, have the attention now, you know, after a couple of years ago, they're, they're all over and then, and us middle, middle of the group guys, the older guys, we, you know, we try to bring some leadership in. Um, I'm just excited to see the, the leap that the young guys take again. I think, you know, Namek and, 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 uh, and Luke, um, you know, this, the, uh, at the ceiling's so high for those guys. I, it's just going to be exciting to see where they get to and, and try to help them them grow. Um, and um, and it's just going to be exciting um, to watch watch everyone again and, and just the hunger of the group. But but I don't really know if we have kind of a, a so to say uh, black swan in there. Uh, you know, you kind of know what you get, and and that's our group. That's our group. Well, hey, uh, we're looking forward to Four Nations, and I'm sure you've put some thought into that, too. Um, a lot of attention is going to be given to Team USA, Team Canada here in North America. We're going to talk about that because I think as Americans, we feel like we got an opportunity here to, to really compete uh, and got a lot of avenues covered. But Team Finland's got a really nice roster potentially, too, and you'd certainly be in the mix for that. So, you know, what kind of thought have you put into that, and, and how excited are you for the opportunity possibly to represent your country? Yeah, I think it's a cool, uh, cool little tournament. Um, it's hard to put in too much thought into it because you just, you're, you know, you, you never know. Um, you know, it's been, it's been a rough go. Uh, we missed two Olympics, and, you know, obviously... You know, for for Europeans, that's a that's a big goal uh, for them to make that roster. So missing two of those, so it, and uh, the World Championships. Whenever you make playoffs and when you you know your family grows or whatnot, it's not always the easiest thing to do. But but uh, you know during the season when you can uh, represent your country, I think it's a huge honor and and um, and it'll be it'll be really exciting. It'll be a short tournament. Uh, I mean, all the best players in the world from. From those four nations will be there, so uh, it'll be it'll be an honor, and and uh, like you said, hopefully uh, hopefully I'll be out on that team and and uh, be able to represent Finland. Looking forward to that, Eric. Uh, appreciate the time. Enjoy what's left of the summer, and uh, we look forward to seeing you back on the ice coming up in the fall in New Jersey.